Today we're comparing two very popular fragrances from two different houses that are very, very similar and created by the same perfumer. I'm talking about L'Artisan Parfumer Premier Figuier in both the original EDT and the Extreme EDP. Those are these right here. And then also the Diptyque uh, Philosophus in EDT and EDP. Both of these fragrances were created by Olivia Giacobetti and they were created two years apart. Can you guess which one was created or came first? Well, you're gonna find out coming right up. So guys, uh, I'm a fan of fig fragrances and I guess Dahlia, you're a fan of fig fragrances as well. Recent convert. Recent? Mm -hmm. So these two fragrances were launched two years apart, as I mentioned. Uh, L'Artisan came two years before Diptyque, and a lot of people think the Diptyques came before. But L'Artisan uh, Parfumer created Premier Figuier EDT in 1994. And the fragrance was created by Olivia Giacobetti, one of my favorite perfumers. Uh, but although lately I haven't seen her creating anything, so we'll see, maybe she's retired. But uh, she created uh, L'Artisan Parfumer uh, Premier Figuier in 94, and then two years later she created Diptyque's Philosophus in 1996. To me they smell very similar, but there are nuances, and one of them I prefer more than the other. But uh, what do you think? Do you know these four fragrances? Well, actually, two fragrances in two, four different versions. I thought I didn't like Fig, actually. I just, um, I, years and years ago, when I was first getting into fragrances, um, probably in the 90s, I tried the EDP from Diptyque. And you mean the EDT? I... EDP came in 2012. All right, then it would have been the EDT. Yeah. Um, and I remember just thinking that it was so milky and it smelled... Um, on, on my skin, like the tree was like bleeding. bleeding. Yeah, milk, yeah, it bleeds milky. Yeah, and I just was so kind of thrown by it. I thought, you know, made a sweeping generalization as one does. And was, well, I must not like fig. And this year I have been uh, just really into these green th fragrances, green, bright, juicy sort of fragrances. And now I'm, I, I have to rethink my whole stance on fig because these are lovely. Yeah, it's funny how our palettes change. Mine has totally changed. I love green fragrances. I guess I've loved green fragrances a lot, but this year has been the year of aquatics and florals for me. I love floral fragrances. But going back to L'Artisan Parfumer uh, Premier Figuier, so it was 1994 that the EDT came out, and 10 years later in 2004, the EDP or the Extreme came out with the Diptyque in 2000. 12 is when the EDP came out, but it came out originally in 1996, the EDT. So the notes are a little different. Uh, both contain coconut and both contain fig leaves. I think both contain the fig fruit as well. Um, so in um, L'Artisan, at the top you've got fig leaf and caramel. In the heart you have fig fruit, sandalwood, and almond milk. In the base you have lime, coconut, dried fruit, and sandalwood. Now that's the L'Artisan. For the Diptyque, at the top you've got fig leaf and fig fruit. In the heart you have coconut and green notes. In the base you have cedar, woody notes, and fig tree. So, similar types of notes, but I guess the smell is similar too. Shall we compare? Do that. Okay, so let's try the uh, L'Artisan original, the EDT. So we're gonna go in order. Yep. Awesome. So this is the EDT. Beautiful. And then I'll spray the Extreme in EDP. It's very green. Um, it's almost mouth-watering. No, but I mean it is mouth-watering. Um, beautiful. And this, which is this one? Now that's the extreme version of the L'Artisan. Actually more muted. Muted. It's, there's a powdery touch. I think there might be some iris in that one. The difference between the two L'Artisans is dramatic. The, um, the 94 uh, launch is just so vibrant and juicy and green and figgy. The later release is, it is more muted. It's maybe more- Subdued. Um, subdued, yes. That's exactly the right word. It doesn't jump out as much. It doesn't project. It's more of a skin scent. Well, on the, on the skin it does wear a little close as well. I don't know, I mean, I like both of them for different things, I guess. I Which would one have do you like? To, I'd have to go with the, the EDT. Really? Yeah. 
So you don't like the powdery almost? I generally don't. I mean, there there are exceptions, but I I if it's if I'm picking which one I like better, it's hands the, down the EDT. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to like debate it. Not that the other one is bad, but in comparison. So what stands out for you in the EDT note, notes wise? Just uh, the fig leaf. I I don't um, it's the, actually the fruit. You you do you get the fruit? I think I do. I it's the, I've never I don't recall that I've ever reacted to a leaf as being juicy, and this is juicy. It's mm. um it's 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 like sweet but not too sweet. It's it's watery like but not aquatic. It's more just like there's a, I'm going to say juicy again. I have to. Do you get a succulent, gelatinous kind of vibe with it as well? It's like yes, like like almost like drop. Like Sebastian will be supplying my words today because he has more of them than I do. Um, yes. Do you think it's the coconut? It's succulent. It's almost like coconut oil to me. I could. I can go with Weighty, that. Weighty, kind of like like something that just kind of drops and doesn't break. It just it's glops. It's yeah. It's it's just. See, to me, both of these are not fruity at all. It's what? milky and green. I don't pick up the fruity notes. It is a little milky, but it's not like the uh, the diptyque one. All right, well, let's try the diptyque one. So Good transition. Let's see what you think and which one is... Did you know that these two were created by the same perfumer? No. I've never smelled the Lardizan one before. I've That's the EDT? At least that I know of. See, now this one to me, the EDT comes across as much lighter than the Lardizan one, the Lardizan EDT, but it does have a similar green, milky juiciness, um, but lighter version of it. Hmm. And it is milkier. It is um, sappier. In the Lardizan, it's almond milk. But there's no milk note listed in, in for the diptyque. And by milkier, I don't mean milkier. I mean like if you break a branch and that white goo, that. So sap technically, but sap typically you think of like pine tree resins, but. Hmm. That makes sense. What do you think of the EDP? Similar um, difference between the EDT and the EDP in the diptyque as there is to the Lardizan. I actually think the EDP is lighter and more of a, it feels like it would be more of a skin scent than the EDT, it, which is more blowsy. See, to me, the diptyque EDP jumps out more than the Lardizan EDP. Yes, but relative to the EDT. And EDT jumps out the most out of all four of them. Yeah. I mean, the EDT for Lardizan jumps out the most out of all of them. Yes. But if you were gonna like rank them in terms of what jumps out the most, it would be the Lardizan EDT, then it would be the Diptyque EDT, then it would be the Diptyque EDP, then it would be the Lardizan EDP. EDTP. Okay. Makes total sense. Yeah. You got it. There's a lot of acronyms, <laughs> like, really fast. But do you see the similarities? Oh, totally. They're so, so the similar. The big note or, or ingredient or something is very... Um, it's almost like it's the same. There's, there's an ingredient that is shared by all four. Very. See, I've never compared them side by side before. I've always loved both of them. My favorite is the Lartazan EDT, but I also like the Lartazan EDP because it is closer and it does have that irisy powdery touch. Almost gives it more of an elegant kind of like a mature kind of a, a uh, what do you call it, um, experience for the fig. Fig can be kind of playful, but the Lartazan EDP or Extreme gives it more that like this like more mature um, classiness to it. Well, when you say mature, I, I'm not saying like it's old smelling. It's, yeah, it's not it's at not. all. Um, it's very like um, I would almost say these are preppy, like not like in a again. This isn't a negative, but it's so clean and it's so um, bright and fresh. Um, but still it's got like some heft to it. Um, this, this goes with like a Kate Spade bag or like high end preppy. I get that. Yeah. Like, like design magazine interiors preppy, like, like, like Cape Cod or something, but 
But Old Cape Cod? I don't actually, I've never been. Well, technically I have. Have I? Cape May? Is that? I have no idea. I'm I don't Cape know. It's, it's somewhere in Jersey, but. So here's the EDP on me. It smells nothing like it did on paper. There is no resemblance. Really? Really. I get the resemblance, but it's a lot powderier. It's super different on your skin. What does it smell like? Um, much less figgy. Hmm. Figgy pudding? So here's the diptyque on me. Um, actually here. Mm -hmm. Which is a milky, juicy, figgy, whatever. Very similar to how it was on paper. Um, and that's the Lardizan EDT. Ooh, I like this one. It's really good, actually, yeah. But on skin, they're very different. On paper, they were quite similar. But on skin, this one is milkier and juicier. That's the Diptyque one and the Lardizan one. Huh. Very interesting. Is I wouldn't. I don't know how to describe it. It's um, maybe more of the leaf in the Lardizan one on on my skin. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely leafy. Leafier. The Lardizan is le leafy. The Lardizan is leafier on my skin and the diptyque smells almost the same on paper as it does on my skin just a juicy figgy milky juicy so do, are you getting the fruitiness then from still yeah the diptyque because i'm not getting the fruits much it's more tree and leaves for me both of these are more tree and uh, leaves definitely not fruity um it's sort of like a really ripe fig that is like 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 where it's almost, it's like soft. Like a dried fig? No, let, no. I love dried figs, by the way. Well, yeah, they're delicious, but none of these smell like dried figs. Mm -hmm. Well, according to I'm sure, the but, notes. Uh, you know, it's like when you make ginger cookies and you like put in candied ginger and fresh ginger grated and ginger spice, and it still just tastes like ginger cookie. Like, even though all of those are in there, I think this the, the dried fig probably just like emphasizes the fresh fig smell in that way. Nah, I think it's that like makes sense. Chemicals yeah. or something, but like, I, I absolutely think that a really fresh uh, fig fruit I, is what I'm getting from the Diptyque EDT on my skin. And mm. Yeah, you're getting fruit. I'm not getting fruit at all. Even though the Lartizan has dried fruits in the notes, which might contain dried figs. I'm not getting it. In the Lardizan, I get a lot of fig leaf. Um, fresh, but in a different way. The Diptyque one is much juicier. The Lardizan one is um, kind of greener, but not. Because they're both very green. They're both very green. It's a different green. They're both also very milky and coconutty. Um, except for the Diptyque doesn't mention any milky notes or almond milk notes. Now it does have the woody notes. It could be a sandalwood, which is creamy, yeah, milky. Yeah. So it could be that that's giving us the milky vibe on both, it or could at be. least on the Diptyque. But I like them both. The I Diptyque prefer- The one is beautiful. Me from the Wayback Machine was an idiot. This is great. I, either I, that or maybe my skin likes it better. I love the, I love the Larchazon. It's really lovely. The EDT is just awesome. Um, I really love the Lardizan EDT on paper. I like it on skin, but I love it on paper. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, it's really different. Wow. My skin kind of ate it. Like, it's just me personally, the, but the Diptyque one is holding up. And this is um, ordinarily, um, you're wearing the EDP. Oh, now you've got the EDTs on. Well, I have the EDP on this side and I have the EDP on this side now. Yeah, the EDT from Diptyque is really beautiful. All right, so I'm going to try the... Oh, there's almost some... Um... Definitely picking up almonds this time. There's a, something very vegetative. Vege... Vegetal? Vegetal. Uh, in that, on your skin. And not, not bad, just very leafy. Um, all right, so I'm going to put the Diptyque EDP on the inside of my arm. Whee! And I'm going to put the EDP. Is that the EDP? That's the EDP, the extreme. Extreme. Yeah. It smells figgy in this house. I think actually a lot of people really like fig candles. I feel, I feel like that's a thing. That's like a... Isn't one of their most popular candles from Diptyque the fig? I think the Diptyque candle 
smells nothing like Philosicus. I actually Agreed. prefer Diptyque's fig candle over the actual Philosicus scent. I disagree. I prefer Philosicus to the candle. Really? Which is not shocking that we disagree. Why? It's juicier. Okay. Word of the day. It's more succulent. Um, okay, so the Diptyque EDP, um, the comparison between the paper kind of holds true. It is um, more muted um, and sort of more of a skin scent for me. The um, Diptyque EDP? Yeah. It's oh, wow. wow. My skin ate that Well, one. I think that's what's going on with both EDPs. Yeah. They're both muted. Yeah. But personally, I've worn the EDP here, and I've worn the, this EDP as well. This is my second bottle because the, the first one was finished. Both of them last quite a lot longer than the EDTs, but they don't jump out or scream out as loud. Is it the kind of thing where it's like you, if you spray it on your clothing, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I agree. But if you want the projection, both the, the L'Artisan is awesome. I mean, the Diptyque is awesome too. They're, they're both... Very, very great fragrances. You just have to decide which one works better for you. The reason we, I wanted to do this video for the longest time is I wanted you guys to know both of these are created by the same perfumer and two years apart, but the very first one was, of course, the L'Artisan, Premier Figuier. Two years later came Philosicus. So My skin ate three of the four, which is sad, but the EDT, I think, from Diptyque is still kind of going um which is not to say that you have crazy skin that eats fragrances like mine um but i think that oh that's nice on you yeah it's really nice it's the edt i think this is one that i would um i would probably spray on on clothing as well as skin for to offset my skin eating them yeah yeah, you but, can totally but do that. Nice, juicy. Yeah. I, they are really similar. This is, I think, the first comparison video we've done where genuinely they're very similar. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Very, very similar. Guys, if you like fig fragrances, I also have my 20 fig fragrances video that you can watch as well. I have a link in the info box. You can find out a lot of different uh, fig fragrances where I've featured these four as well. Well, do we have anything else to say about these four fragrances or two with their two EDP versions? Um, we should, they should just go test them out, right? I, you really I, give it a go. This is if you haven't, if you thought you didn't like Fig, maybe you'll have a change of heart like I did because I'm gonna just, as soon as he turns off the camera, I'm gonna just go back to sniffing my arms. So. <laughs> Guys, are you familiar with these fragrances? Did you know one came before the other? Did you know the L'Artisan was two years before the Diptyque? If you did know that, let us know. Also, if you don't know it, let us know as well. And did you enjoy this video, finding out about the two? different fragrances and are you a fan of fig fragrances which is your favorite fig or fragrance or you can just say hi hi you can say hi can say hi. hi sebastian hi dahlia guys if you have any questions or comments please list below uh, other than that please like this video please share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye